DJ Goodlooking, we also have the good looking and dashing percussionist to ones of Wicked Aura Batucada. And of course, girls know there are a lot of cute guys in that drum ensemble, Wicked Aura. The one right here is Aiden with us. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Chris. Ooh. Uh, hi there. <laughs> hi, Chris. Oh, okay. How are you today? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. And you? Very well, thank you. Mm. Well, fancy it's taken all this while to have you on A Taste of Lush. Thanks to Junior for asking you to be his music partner. Where were you originally from? I'm originally from France. I'm British with a English and Indian heritage, so from all over the place. Oh, you're actually French by birth. I grew up in France. Oh, yes. I wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Oh, how did you end up in Singapore based here and also how did you end up being in Wicked Aura? I came here through uh, travels through Asia and uh, set up a uh, base here after I met my uh, co-members from Wicked Aura, mm. which we set up together. Mm -hmm. And since then I've just been involved in the music industry here, trying to play my part in, in the revolution. <laughs> and I'm always like the last to know, but I just found out today that you're no longer with the group. No, I, I we, uh, left Wicked Aura a couple of years ago. I'm still in touch with the boys, I hear they're doing well. Uh, Why did you decide to leave? Um, I wanted to take on some of my own projects, which I had my eyes on for a while, including playing percussion with DJs, mm -hmm. uh, which has always been something that I've been doing since my days in London. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, thanks to Junior, uh, <laughs> I've hit the road big time with the DJs here. It's been really, it's been a really, really fun year for me. Yeah. Good. And I'm sure you have performed with different DJs and shared the stage with famous names. Uh, which did you most enjoy working with? Well, the person, the drummer who blew my mind was Billy Cobham, uh, who we played with at WOMAD in Sri Lanka. Uh, I think he just, he just really impressed me with his professionalism. But I don't think you have to look any further than Singapore to see uh, true talent and uh, just the avenues are opening up in the last few years for them. Um, I would say, as far as drums go, I would name uh, Mohamed Noor and Ridwan Zalani as two of my favorite percussionists. I enjoy listening to um, Ayase Kine, uh, especially her, her night at uh, Blue Jazz called Aya School, which really rocks. Uh, Casey Subramaniam on bass guitar comes to mind. Um, there's, there are so, there's so much talent here. I was actually about to ask you, in your opinion, how do Singapore club DJs fare next to those of the international arena? And you've actually named some good musicians. So what about DJs? Uh, how do you think we fare? Uh, on the international stage? Well, I actually think that uh, local talents um, need to put it more in the spotlight by the corporations and by the people running the clubs. I think that there's the same a lot of people with extreme music knowledge here mm -hmm. that needs to be explored more. You know, the guest DJs attract the crowd, but I think um, the locals do give more and more respect to local talents here, which is nice to see. Over here, I like, of course, working with Junior, the Junior and uh, Jeremy at uh, Velvet. Um, I also work a little bit with DJ KFC, um, Godwin at Kudeta previously, um, yourself a few years ago. Um, KMA. Yeah, KMA. And of course, CoFlow. And yeah, there's a whole load of guys out there that are worth working with. Well, that is Aiden in a word, <laughs> more than one word. But anyhow, we are going to listen to more of his musicianship along with. DJ Junior for set number three. <laughs> 